Wow, just wow. Take a look at this thing, guys. This is the Precision Series Surges Surplus. I got it on Amazon for $31. It's now on sale for even less than that. Wow. Anyway, guys, welcome back to yet another review. Today we're going to be taking a look at this thing. I'll be unboxing it on camera. Here's the description if you want to read it. I'm not going to go through it because it's really long. And, uh, yeah, guys, this thing is on sale on Amazon. And it's truly amazing. Disney Pixar Cars Precision Series logos all over the place. Let's just get started with opening this thing. I'm I'm extremely excited to open it. Let's go. And here it is, guys. The surplus hut and its full glory. Oh, let me say right now, this thing looks amazing. So let's get started with the review. We of course have the story set adapter piece, which I'm going to remove. The road here is a very short piece of road, and then the sidewalk. Now, here you have the uh, mailbox, which turns on the lights, and here it is all lit up. In the movies, uh, the little cannon here, like, shoots out a little light, and then it lights up this whole thing. It looks nicer in the movie, but oh well. And then the cannon itself actually has rubber tires, and the cannon itself has, yeah, the cannon itself would roll, I guess, if you took it off, because it does have actual working, moving tires there. Sorry, the lights got my camera messed up. Then you have the American flag, which just is cloth. It stays up here, but you could take it down and have Sarge raise it up. If I could get it back up the flagpole. Come on. There we go. There we go. If, um, you could count if you want, if it does have the proper amount of stars and stripes. Here you have these two bushes with the rocks all around it. And then the door to get inside, which much like is basically, these are the cozy cone doors. You lift it up by the flap, and then you push it in. Then you can explore the inside of the building. You got the windows, and I love how this thing looks all weathered and beaten up. The gray has, like, browns and greens all over it. Of course, this is the roof, which is removable. And on the inside, oh, well, we'll get to that in a minute. Here you do have the windows that light up. And all the grass around him and the fence around him as well. Here's a light sensor for light sensor mode. And on the back, this part, of course, as you saw me apply it, this part must be applied separately. Sadly, this back door does not open up. So now let's go into the inside, which I think really should, in fact, have more stuff, but oh well. You have USA surplus, surplus this way up, some codes and such. Nah. Well, not, it doesn't say this way up, it just says up. Over here you have some more lights. I don't, uh, oh yeah, these are how the windows light up. Uh, these are the actual lights, if I turn this on. Very cool. Then you have these rugs, well, not rugs, they're more like mats, or like sleeping mats. Sorry, whenever I turn the lights on, my camera just gets all messed up. Oh, and by the way, that's not an issue. When the lights go all shuddery like that, that's how they're supposed to work. They're supposed to look old and beaten up with flabby tires. I'm sorry, I had to make that joke. So you have those, and just some empty boxes and some other stuff down there. No place for Sarge to sleep. Oh, well. Oh, and then this thing, I just realized this moves. So I'm just going to leave it at like that angle, because I think that's what it's supposed to be. That, but there you go, you can move that. Anyway guys, this really is an amazing precision series building. Let's see how it looks in my town. Wow guys, it truly does look awesome. Anyway, I'll see you all next time. I will, uh, I'll review uh, the Sarge that comes with the set another time. Anyway guys, thank you all so much for watching. Here, look, I'm just going to move these guys down. There we go.